it's a relationship issue that has been all over the headlines. Men and infidelity. It's a nice way of saying why do men cheat. GMA special contributor Steve Harvey is here this morning with answers. We're going to talk to the author of the best-selling relationship book, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man, about this hot topic in just a moment. But first, we spoke with men and women all across the country who weighed in on this hot issue. I think men cheat because, uh, because they can. Why do men cheat? Because they're probably not happy with the relationship they're in. I think it's in men's DNA to have more sexual activity. They're lonely, they're, they're pigs, you know, scratch. <laughs> I think if women cheat, they're a cougar or they're loose. And if a man cheats, it's like, go get him, guy. Guys will cheat, it's just for sex. It's not a, it may not be an emotional attachment, uh, but with women, there's definitely an emotional element to that. I think that's just an excuse for, you know, to say that, oh, all men cheat, but they don't. That's just giving someone an excuse. I think it's expected, not expected, but uh, allowed. If, really? if men cheat, well, it's not allowed? by me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Paul was like, hey, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, GMA special contributor Steve Harvey is here. Hi, Steve. Good. How you doing? Man? I'm great. I'm great. You know, you said when you're out holding your seminars that this is one of the, the top questions that you get. I mean, without a doubt, it's the number one question asked, you know, and it's, it's, it's a big question because it's, a, it's it, it, it causes a lot of pain mm -hmm, in relationships mm -hmm. because it violates the trust. And it's so hard to get it back once you've done it, you know. Yes. So it's probably the most painful thing out there. All right. Well, let's get to some of the questions that we've had. Again, we talked to people all across the country. And this is a question. It's from Kathleen. And we heard this over and over and over again, Kathleen. Question for you, Steve Harvey. How would I know if my boyfriend or husband is cheating? What are the signs? Well, if his cell phone rings and he's in the shower, and he runs through the glass door to answer. That's one sign, okay. That's a good one. Yeah. And if he sleeps with his uh, cell phone duct tape to his thigh, yeah. that's, that's a good yeah. way to tell. But I, I, I think really the um, more serious answers become, you know, if there's an attitude change. Mm. You know, if your man doesn't care any more about the intimacy, whether you're having it with him or not, if it doesn't make a difference to him, if he's indifferent to it, that right. attitude adjustment is serious. And then the big one is, if his intimate performance with you has changed, if all of a sudden you're seeing new moves and <laughs> new tricks, brand new tricks, you yeah. know, this is, guys, our imagination ain't that good. Mm -hmm. We have got to go practice these things. We can't just bring them in there, you know, we got to. So all practical signs yeah, that, that we should look for. All That's right, let's I get think. to another question, and this is a question that some men in relationships say they struggle with. So, hey, Steve, if somebody's flirting with me, how should I handle that? It's the old, it's not my fault. Is that what it is? Well, well he's lucky if that's happening. But anyway, if, uh, oh, no. if, uh, if somebody's flirting with you, I mean, you know, you, you got to be careful because flirting pushes the primal instinct button in men because by nature, you know, we're predators. And so if you, re if you show that little twitch flex reaction, that little dangle of carrot, and we immediately go for it. It's a very dangerous thing to flirt because at what point does it stop? Because if you keep the flirting up, eventually it's going to lead to something, you know. And the best way to do it is just, you know, laugh it off and go, <laughs> girl, you crazy. And, you know, and, 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 and go home. And just move on. Yeah, move because on. if you do it, you're not going to win. Mm -mm, yeah. mm -mm. Got another question. This is Christine from San Francisco. Hey, Steve, I have a question. If I suspect my fiancé of cheating, is it okay if I check his emails and phone records? Oh, I, you know, I, I don't really like that one personally. I, I don't think it's cool. Right. I think you should respect a person's privacy, you know. And then there's an old saying, you know, that if you go looking for trouble, you're going to find it. Mm -hmm. Here's the deal. If your guy is cheating, you're going to find out. You don't have to go looking for it. You always find out. Now. 
if that's if he's cheating. But if you're wondering if he's cheating, you know, because in light of everything that's going on today, everybody know. I wonder if my guy. Well, if you're wondering and you go looking, you're gonna right. find something. It could be an innocent email. It could be on the phone number that's mm -hmm. attached to business. But if you stuck it in your mind, wow, he's cheating too, and you see this stuff, it could it could turn into something else. I know a lot of relationships that are shot now. I mean, gone because someone suspected and went looking and found something innocent and it turned into something that it really wasn't. They're saying now text messages and all that, that's lipstick on the collar from back in the day. Yeah, I don't recommend text messaging. I, mean, I quit text messages. I, all my notes is by carrier pigeon. <laughs> I don't even. <laughs> Bobby, just, let's, yeah. let's, let's cut out the middle. Yeah, Bobby is 62, married, and she wants to know this about, about cheating. Why are all these men that are in power think they can get away with it? I mean, you know, it's, it's not just men of power. You know, cheating is not reserved to men of power. It happens to the truck driver, the cab driver, the janitor. It, it can happen to anybody. It happens to women. You know, men, men of power just have more opportunities. You know, w w women fail to look at this mm -hmm. thing sometimes. A guy... There are trophy men just like they're trophy women. They're just like women that men want to conquer. Right, right. There are men that women want to conquer. A guy walks in the room, has himself established fame-wise, money-wise. There's women over there eyeballing this guy. He, he may not even be aware of it. That's why the athletic bus pulls up at the hotel. What's it filled with? A lobby full of groupies. Because guess what? They want the trophy guy. They don't care if he's married or not. So for the famous guy, Guy, the powerful guy, it's just tougher. It's more opportunities presented. You know, the best thing is to go. I just want to go home. I just yeah. got to get through the minefield to get there. To get there. But you know, it's not just men. Not just men. And you'll see, women do it too. Another question. Steve, what can I do to prevent my wife from cheating? Wow. You, you very rarely get that question, you know? But it happens. I yeah. mean, it's, people don't talk about it, but it does happen. It, it happens a lot, a lot more than people discuss, because right. on my radio show, I get these mm -hmm. letters all the time from women who uh, have these great guys that are providers, do everything he's supposed to do, but yet and still, she wants something else. But it's rare, because most women, if, you, if you're attentive to them, if you are a provider for them, if you're communicating with them, if you're loving to them, if you're giving them the things that most women want, most women will stay put. The average woman is really decent. She'll stay put Thank because you. because she's she's gone out. She wants she has what she wants. You know, most women will stay put in that situation. So when a guy goes, how do I keep my wife from cheating? This is a guy, I can assure you, is not taking care of his business oh. at home. <laughs> well, those, those are all the questions we have. But I, there was one other one that came by email, and it's one that we were talking about a lot in the studio. And, and I can just hear our mama saying this, once a cheater, always a cheater. You know, once a cheater, always a cheater. Is that the case? Because let's come clean here now. You have spoken about how you've made some mistakes in your past. You've learned from those mistakes. Oh, yeah. So some of this, are you speaking from experience? Well, okay, um, on national TV. Um, <laughs> You know, I'm, I mean, I'm you on my third George, marriage, you, you know, <laughs> you know I, I, I've made some mistakes in my life. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you get married, you're on third marriage, and I'm very happy now. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I've made those mistakes, you know, because, but people have to know, that once a cheater, always a cheater, that's not a true statement. People grow. People get yeah. better. People learn from their mistakes. People move on. People discover what went wrong before and learn how not to make those mistakes again. And that's a very myth that women have passed down throughout the years, that once a cheater, always a cheater. You've lost some great relationships because women bring that baggage to the next relationship, and, and it kills something that could be really good. So I'm very happy now, and I go home. So let's put that on TV, please. <laughs> yes, last okay, with Marjorie. Yes, yeah, she's yes, a good friend. Thank you, God. <laughs> Steve, thank you. Thank <laughs> Thank you so much for, for your straight talk. And do you have a question for our man, Steve? Mm -hmm. Ask him on our website, abcnews.com, and read an excerpt from his book.